Well, it's important to embrace and acknowledge all of the different cultures that make New Jersey the great state that it is. From September 15th to October 15th, we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and the heroes of the Hispanic community. Joining me now is Jairo Munoz, the men's head soccer coach at Kane University. Jairo, thanks so much for taking the time this morning. Well, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity and thank you for being able to have this interview, which uh, also highlight uh, our Hispanic heritage. Well, th this is our pleasure. So how special is this time of year for you, getting to coach the sport you love and embracing your roots during Hispanic Heritage Month? Uh, this time of, of year definitely tr triggers gratitude in my, uh, in, me, in, my, in me for sure. Unfortunately, where I can not only be proud of my Hispanic roots, but uh, also be able to celebrate them as well. I also try to foster that same pride in my Hispanic players as well during this time. Now, growing up as, as a Hispanic American, how influential was a sport like soccer? Well, you know, I, part of my life, I grew up in Ecuador and over there, soccer is very much what you eat and breathe every day. So, and once again, to America, I was lucky enough to pretty much go into King, where I had a, a great standards there too of soccer. So it was uh, um, pretty much a good team for in both sides of the world, South America and here. And Jairo, getting hired as the head coach in June of this year was a full circle moment for you. I know you played at Kane University back in the 90s, and now you get to coach your own team there. How awesome is that for you? Oh, it's great to be able to come back as a head coach. You know, it was a very big full circle moment indeed. Uh, during undergraduate, we came close to be a national title content, uh, contender. We won it the conference twice. One was undefeated, and uh, trying to bring this this winning attitude back to the team uh, is great. To also think about how I was once was a kid or player looking at a coach, and now it's great to have opportunity to be a reserve for them now in, in turn. And can you talk about some of your key players this year and who has stood out to you? You know, I have love for all my players, and I think they, they all bring their own strength and personality to the team. But, I mean, the three caps time, Dominic, Rich, uh, Gonzalo, Camargo, and Marby, they bring they have brought that experience and also off the field, keeping the boys together, the team together, especially when they sometimes things don't go our way. Um, on, the young, on the young ones, the fr our freshmen, uh, Tyler Madero has really stood out into uh, this year so far. And I just look forward to helping them nurture their talents and watching them grow as a players. Now, are there any games that stand out to you so far or any games that you're looking forward to towards the rest of the season? You know, it has been a little inconsistent season for us so far, and really, um, so on then a little bit unlucky. But really, the game that we're looking forward I, because of last year and all that is uh, against Rowan. So that's the, the game that really we we all look into it. Now, uh, finally, I ask this to every Kane University coach: as athletes, you teach them to be winners. But how are you trying to make them better as people? Oh. Well, the, the main thing is, uh, as a player, is building the, the, the character, you know, especially when you face uh, failure, when you face mistakes, like sometimes, you know, because you mistake, your team might lose the game. So that's the key because we try to relate that to the real world where we definitely life sometimes not just. And so many times you will face those failures, face those mistakes, but the key is to learn from them, to move forward. So when they face it, when they go out there, they are prepared for it. Head coach Jairo Munoz, thanks so much for taking the time and best of luck the rest of the year. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Our pleasure. Head over to ONNJ.com for the latest news in sports anytime.